Florida is setting up a mobile response unit here in Jacksonville to bring more monoclonal antibody treatments similar to the drug Regeneron. Governor DeSantis says it will help both the unvaccinated and vaccinated people who test positive for COVID-19 and in the early stages. Joining us now to talk more about this is Dr. Sunil Joshi from the Duval County Medical Society Foundation. Good morning, Dr. Joshi. Good morning, Verona. Well, I'm so glad you could join us this morning. So at this point, we are more than a year in this pandemic. Is this treatment effective? Well, this, this treatment is definitely effective. In fact, it has been used at Baptist Hospital and Mayo Clinic here in town for multiple months now. Um, and in phase three trials, this particular monoclonal treatment has been shown to reduce hospitalizations in 70% of the people who have been infected. And again, so if you can get the treatment in early in the infectious process within the first 10 days, it has a very good chance of preventing hospitalization. Wow, so there's a referral process for people to be able to receive this treatment. Can you tell us a little bit more about that? Yeah, and so that's part of you know what's been a little bit challenging for us as a medical community is understanding um, who exactly is going to qualify. Um, but typically speaking, when, when the FDA approved this through the emergency use authorization, this drug was approved for folks who may have mild to moderate symptoms after testing positive for COVID-19, but are also at increased risk of having hospitalization. So these are folks who may have high blood pressure, kidney disease, um, uh, heart disease, obesity, uh, and respiratory conditions who may be having mild to moderate symptoms to get them this monoclonal treatment within the first 10 days. It can also be used in folks who have been exposed to somebody else who has COVID-19 and this person now is unvaccinated and has yet to have symptoms. So it can be used as a prophylaxis to prevent infection as well. And it does prevent infection in 80% of the people who go on it who have been exposed to somebody with COVID. Wow, and what does uh, the demand for referrals look like and how is your office kind of keeping up with all of this? Well, you know, this just came out, you know, a couple of days ago, Thursday afternoon, and people are always, you know, we, we um, are allergists and immunologists and we treat people with immune deficiencies. And folks with immune deficiencies are folks that would potentially benefit from this type of treatment if they were to be infected and test positive um, early in their course. Um, and so people are calling in whether or not we'd be willing to do the referral. Um, but fortunately, none of them are currently infected. But we, of course, would be willing to do the referral uh, for these folks. And I do think people who are unvaccinated may end up taking advantage of this particular program. I think it's also very, very important to note that vaccination is truly the key way to get us out of this pandemic. These antibodies are for short-term success. They will get you through an episode of infection, but they do not provide long-term immunity. That's what the vaccine does. And where can people who are interested uh, take advantage and uh, find more information about this treatment? Now, again, talking to your doctor is, is critically important. Right now, you do need to have a doctor's referral, and that could be through your primary care doctor, specialist, or even through an urgent care or an emergency room setting uh, to receive this treatment. Um, and so it is important that you do speak with your healthcare provider. If you have tested positive, you have mild to moderate symptoms to see if you may qualify for this treatment, um, and then he or she will, will do the referral for you. And that is so helpful, a lot of helpful information there. Well, thank you so much, Dr. Uh, Joshi. We really appreciate having you on this morning. Thank you.